All right, Amber, you're up. Hi. So I had Wyoming, Illinois, and Hawaii. Can you guys hear her? Do I need? They can hear you. So in Wyoming, when I did my research, uh, Wyoming has the second highest suicide rate in the United States, and they have the second highest fertilities for wrecks and for incidents at works where they work. And then they're also, they have a lot of new age practices and, um, a big history of witchcraft and a lot of pagans like go to live there and there's a lot of death and fear in Wyoming so while I was praying for Wyoming or whatever the principality that I got was deception and control over Wyoming um, for Illinois there is a lot of poverty in the Illinois, there's a lot of home closures and job losses. Um, there's a lot of government control and corruption. Um, with Illinois, there was um, witchcraft has been a part of Illinois history and culture from fr from the French to present day to now, and they have the highest murder rates, which stems from jealousy so for illinois what i got the principality was jealousy and control as well um jealousy being a very big one and then for hawaii you had hawaii yeah hmm. they are Native, they do a lot of rituals, um, like the fire eating, they pray to the false gods. Um, there is no, they are self-governed there, so there's no um, necessary, like, government over them, kind of. They are self-controlled, and they are um, self-governed, which means they, like, have control over their own lives. So kind of to the point where they're praying to the false gods and everything that they don't feel like they need our God because they have all their gods and their rituals and everything that they believe in. So the principality that I got over Hawaii is idolatry. So yeah, that's my paper. And I was thinking whenever you were talking about Wyoming um, with the statistics with, I think you said the first thing was the suicide rate. I was thinking that possibly like depression too could be something there. Right. I just put that under deception because deception, like a yeah. false identity, like they don't know who they are. They don't know where they come from. Like they don't know where their hope comes from. So like their eyes are deceived. So. Good. Yeah, that's really, really is good. Wyoming, uh, is Wyoming a, uh, like, Indian area? I think it would be considered that, right? Shannon's nodding her head in a vertical fashion, which means yes. So, I mean, I, I yeah, I would, I would think. I mean, most of them out west and like the Midwest. The, uh, that's not considered Midwest, I don't think. Yeah, I am is a tribe and the capital is named after it. Joe lived there for a while when he was eight. Oh, wow. So I know there is a lot of, in that culture, a lot of uh, drunkenness. Um, uh, there's a lot of, if there's drunkenness, then there's a lot of anger um, attached to that spirit. And, um, of course, depression, the uh, suicide. Uh, I think the suicide rate in the 
Indian culture is very high. Um, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, maybe I'm thinking of just drunkenness, but. I'm also hearing abuse and um, child trafficking. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you say? Alaska was the number one highest for suicide. Oh, Alaska was number one highest for suicide. Um, abuse and uh, trafficking. Uh, I'm just thinking I had a I had an opportunity to go to the YWCA and I was working with the women there through a lady that was working. She, she was um, the head of that particular one and she, she was an Indian. And um, I think that, I, th I, th I, think, I think you're right. It was trafficking and all of that that was involved in that as well because of course there's many levels to trafficking it's not just well it's just many levels and so yeah let's make sure we put that in there too uh as we pray for wyoming um what was the other state alaska hawaii yeah, so. poor hawaii i, I would i want to go to hawaii i, I want to be there in a beautiful place isn't it interesting how some of the um, places like Hawaii, Florida, um, you could think of another water place. I can't right now. They deal with water gods and um, water spirits. And so we could talk about water spirits uh, later, but but th these are very strong d demonic uh, spirits. And you see it like in Florida, you see it when they are dealing with uh, a lot of sex and rich and it's and it's during um, spring break and all of that where they're on the beach. Uh, they're in the hotels right off the beach. There's all kinds of crazy stuff that goes on, but it's this it's very sexual and people are going there to have sex. To, to hook up more than they come to Ohio to do that in spring. They don't come to Ohio in spring break and do that, but they do that in Florida and all of that. They uh, Hawaii, um, I don't know about the sex sexual immorality part, but like she was saying, it's abuse, would you say suicide? And, um, and then their gods, we, we know that Hawaii is full of idolatry, unfortunately. So, what'd you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what she said. So, um, yeah, let's take note of that. And then what was the other place? Wyoming, Illinois. Illinois. Uh, I've never said the word Illinois the way you're saying it, but when you say it like that, it makes me think of um, uh, how we use a word as a trigger to begin to say something and I keep hearing the emphasis on noise uh, Illinois I've never said it that way it's it's always like Illinois not Illinois Illinois today it's Illinois like noise so I used to live in Chicago and um, Chicago is very big on crime it's it's in the top 10 of like murder uh, areas. Uh, I had a godson that died there. This crazy stuff that is that goes on. And um, so Illinois is uh, is definitely a murder state. What else did you say it was? Uh, there's a lot of poverty, farm closures, job losses, and why are you whispering? Why are you whispering? Oh, you've been having fun in the, in the <laughs> secular park. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Anyway, she's been screaming all day. That's a spirit, isn't it? I'm um, just playing. Anyway, so, um, yeah, let's. That's 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 good for Illinois. 
Any other thoughts anybody else is thinking about? Illinois, Wyoming, Hawaii. All right, let's go to another one. Who's next? Diana. Go, Dana. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? <laughs> okay. So I had Maryland, I'll start there. Maryland, the capital is, and I didn't have a lot of time to do a lot of research. So I'm just gonna give you what I have. So Maryland, the capital is Annapolis. The state motto is, um, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> say that for me. I don't know, don't you got an English translation? Yeah, it, oh. well, whatever it's in a different language and whatever it is, it means strong deeds, gentle words. Um, key industries are biohealth, life science. Um, I didn't get principalities. Um, a little bit of the history in April of 1649, colonists voted law, uh, voted into law an act concerning religion, um, later known as the Maryland Toleration Act, which granted freedom of worship for all Christians. It was permanently repealed in 1692. The act was one of the first statutes granting religious liberty of any kind and was an important step toward true religious, toward true religious freedom in the United States. Um, Alabama, capital is Montgomery. The motto is we dare to defend our rights. Um, industry is aerospace, education, healthcare, um, various um, heavy industries, including like automotive, mineral extraction, steel production and fabrication. Um, I thought this was an interesting little fact that in 1703, um, it was uh, U the US's first Mardi Gras celebration took place in Mobile. Alabama. So I thought that that was interesting. Um, and then of course slavery um, is a big part of their history. And then I had South Dakota, the capital is Pierre. The motto is under God, the people rule. Industries are agricultural, fishing, forestry. Um, South Dakota is a large scale producer of corn, alfalfa, Soybeans, rye, flax, and wheat, or flaxseed and wheat. And also, um, they're very large in the mining industry, uh, mining gold, um, gravel, sand. And then history um, for them is they were added to the US in 1803 through the Louisiana Purchase. Um, settlement of the territory led to clashes with the Sioux Indians and it's the home of Mount Rushmore and the Crazy Horse Monument. I'll gather more information. It seems like there one thing that tied all three of those together, Dana, was like there's a boldness in the people there in all three of those states. There's some kind of like in their own ways it just seemed like there was a boldness of for freedom um, under God in all three of those places. Mm -hmm. Like, are you thinking the slavery part, Alabama, the, uh, the thing they did in Maryland for religion? Is that what you're are you asking me? Like those? Shannon. Oh. No, I'm actually thinking boldness for good. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. When that's why I'm asking it based on uh, freedom in Alabama. That's good. The the religious rights in Maryland. I don't know what the, what it would be in the other. What was the other state? South Dakota. Oh, I was thinking it because of their motto. 
she sent this out to Kodamato and um and it just seems like God's just give even just given given favor like they're just able to pull everything from the ground um whether it's crops or mining or oil or whatever so it seems like there's a grace on them yeah speaking of that oil so was that where they had a pipeline going on in South Dakota to supply gas and then they and I don't know did it is that the one that was stopped or is it still going on does anybody know there's a keystone pipeline and I believe it went through South Dakota as well I could be wrong about that it could have been in North Dakota but yeah it stopped that was one of the first executive orders in current yeah. president yeah exactly there's a lot in that like we were talking about flow you know one to stop the flow and clogged up the line in the sense of let's stop this from going on so that we pay for our gas or oil sorry from another country instead of which then meant which then means you know people lost jobs so dana as you do some more study i'm looking for um add to what you're doing like uh the maryland what did you say maryland was what was their model thing i have no under no i have nothing no news about maryland maryland's motto is um strong deeds gentle words yeah but like it, like to use another thought of uh, their name. Are they, um, are they really? Is it a cover up or is it really a Maryland? <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know. I look something though that just came to my mind about South Dakota. I think that's where Sturgis is that's held. Sturgis, yeah. So Sturgis is held in South Dakota every year. And it's this big, huge biker rally. So there's a lot of just uh, debauchery and sin and um, just everybody converges into this area. And um, it's just like a free for all. So that was something that I thought of that should be added to that South Dakota. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see, Maryland, South Dakota, of course, again, we're dealing with the Indian tribes uh, in the Dakotas. So there's a certain mindset that the principality in that area, principalities in that area are, uh, are, are controlling. I'm interested in that too. Yeah, and so maybe there, is there like some instruction on how to determine or how i mean how are we supposed to determine. to know how are we supposed to know what the principalities are in these areas so um the, what i look for is like the bible says you know them by their fruit so you start looking at the fruit that is being uh grown in a particular area every area can be different it, and, and it can be all in one state um it doesn't have to be that the entire state is under we're not saying it's under one principality um but we are kind of trying to say what is going on in each state we just haven't broken it down city by city neighborhood by neighborhood which would take so much time so we're not doing that but the fruit of what's going on so uh, what is going on politically and how are they, um, how do they rub up against some of the moral standards that have been presented politically? And then when they are approached by it, you know, how, what was their response? That would be the fruit of it. The, some of the things that go on as far as emotionally in a city, um, like when you, like when you go to Alabama uh, specifically when I was in Birmingham, when I came to there, I realized, man, everybody walks with their uh, head down. 
it's it's like why why does everybody walk with their head down and it was something i noticed uh being there uh and so that's an oppressive spirit you know just to take note of so you know i don't know what goes on in maryland i'm curious as to why they call that place maryland why it sounds like a merry land and what is maybe nothing's being covered up or maybe there is something being covered up just out of the name i don't know i'm just interested so i look at what they're doing politically i look at what they're doing culturally, yeah. what they're providing in the industry that kind of a thing and how the people are responding to it what they're doing for the whole United States, what's coming out of that place, whatever place that we're talking about, what's coming out of Ohio. At different seasons, Ohio responds differently. So what's going on in Ohio that I can that I can grab onto and say, I need to be praying for Ohio right now, or I need to be praying for Maryland right now, or you know, whatever. Who are they connected to? What is what's going on with their government? That kind of stuff. Does that make sense? A little bit. It is a study, but um, I think like as soon as you get, as oh, soon as we go past um, their name and their model, which is important to know, we start looking at the people, we start looking at some of the job sector, uh, we start looking at their government, uh, we start looking at what they are allowing, what they aren't allowing. And this is a great season for it because we've dealt with COVID and every all across the nation. And then, we've, then we're dealing with how people are responding to COVID, how people are responding to, responding to um, the suggestions to uh, close down churches or to do this or not do in everybody's response gives me an idea and gives us all an idea of what they're what's influencing them in that area which is why we see different responses in different areas because of the spiritual influence in that particular area everybody's not responding the same way you know in california whoever has california the governor was trying to close down anything that was over 10 people because he is against religious places, you know, and so uh, he's trying to close down house churches, let alone churches, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, it's 825. I don't know if we can get through one in five minutes, and I don't want to try. Uh, so, who's next, um, next week? We'll say we definitely can't get through it in five minutes because it's you, buddy. Because <laughs> of what? Because it's you. You're next, bud. <laughs> we surely can't get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am long winded. Um, yeah, we won't get through it because because a lot of reasons. Yeah. It looks on Shannon's face at the bottom of my screen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is good. This is good. So, uh, how many more people do we have to go? You don't want to know. Okay, then that means we that means we're progressing slowly, but good. Hey, everybody, get the book. I don't have it in front of me now. Um, Teresa, hold up your book. That was me. Yeah, let's get that book. You don't have to rush and get it by next week or anything like that. Um, but let's get that book this month. And in July, I'll uh, start in that book. And we can try to crush this stuff in this. I mean, we're in July. I'm sorry. In August, we can start that book. And we'll start talking about the fall season and all that kind of stuff too yeah we'll have the uh the coaches put the link 
to where you can buy that book in the description uh, whenever you guys get your emails on Thursday. The link will be in there for Amazon. <laughs> so you can either buy it from Amazon or wherever, but at least you'll have all the detail to, to what it is in case you didn't see Teresa holding up the book. And for those that aren't on today, that way they can order it. You guys can go ahead and pray. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. So, Lord, I just thank you for uh, this time that we were able to come together and uh, just flow with you from the beginning to the end that we were able to dive into the states a little bit, but we were also able to hear what is on your heart, which you know, it's just so good. And so we just, we thank you for that. And we just pray that as we go our separate ways that you would be with us, that you would be with those that weren't able to get on tonight and that you would just continue to order our steps and that we would see ourselves as perfectly positioned um, as we're just seeking your face at each moment. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Jackie, did I make you tired there? <laughs> That was an amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, I can stop recording. Okay, let's remember the prayer request.